Hello, my name is Brad Qualley. I'm the uh, commander down here in Southwest Denver in District 4. Um, I appreciate everybody coming out to, this afternoon to talk about the events that are taking place this weekend, Cinco de Mayo. Now, we have a lot of events taking place in the city. We have events on Morrison. We have places out at Civic Center and then, of course, here on Federal. Um, I would ask that uh, it's going to be busy in all those locations. I would ask that anybody traveling back and forth between the locations to just be, have safety in mind. There's going to be a lot of extra foot traffic, a lot of extra pedestrian traffic. So when you're showing up here on Federal um, for the Cinco de Mayo celebrations, just be mindful of that. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's happening out here in District 4, and that's the Cinco de Mayo celebrations on Federal. Um, on, on Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will have lane restrictions uh, for both north and southbound federal, starting at Florida all the way to 6th Ave. The reason why we're doing that is to create an atmosphere for emergency personnel, that being fire, police, and ambulance, to be able to have the ability to uh, go north and south to be able to serve the district uh, because of the heavy volumes that we have and the medians that are currently out on federal. It really helps us be able to still respond uh, to the neighborhoods. Um, the celebration are those, I'm, not the celebration, but those lane restrictions will start around 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll start setting them up. And they usually uh, go until the event is over, uh, which is usually around that 10 to 11 o'clock at night, and then we'll return to normal traffic. That, that is going to repeat all three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And if you've noticed, there is some message boards out there uh, uh, making sure that the residents or those traveling on federal know about that. We've also worked with our partners in council and also the RNOs in the neighborhood to push out that message to try to alleviate any congestion for those that live in the area. Um, for this event, uh, you, there will be extra officers. So there's going to be extra officers every year that work this event because of the large amount of uh, folks that are in the area as well as vehicle traffic. Um, with that, um, the officers are going to predominantly really focusing on flagrant, flag, flagrant violations. That being like DUI, reckless driving, speeding, things like that. Um, we want to try to make it as a safe atmosphere as for everybody that's uh, attending the events out here on, on Federal Boulevard. Um, we do have three phases that we um, will be working this year out here, just like we did last year for the Federal Corridor. Starting at Florida, like the 6th Ave again is where we're having the lane restrictions, but with that, that's where you're going to see the extra officers. Um, phase one is just normal traffic with the lane restrictions. North and southbound traffic is just going to be normal with some turn lanes. We're gonna have turn lanes available for the residents in the neighborhood um, at Mississippi, Alameda, uh, or Mississippi, Alameda, and First Ave for, for northbound. And then of course, Alameda, Mississippi, and uh, Florida for southbound, just so folks can get back into their neighborhoods. Now, when I go into phase two, that means we're having traffic that's getting congested on federal and we see a lot of traffic starting to spill off into the neighborhoods. We don't want to create unsafe atmospheres for the neighborhoods, so then we might go to a phase two plan. A phase two plan will have us uh, closing down some of the side streets so folks can't turn. Those that are trying to go into the neighborhoods, we're gonna keep them on federal. We might close down some of the left turn lanes to not let them get into the neighborhoods. Until we get it safe for the neighborhoods or lower congestion of traffic, we'll have phase two. Now, I've been out here for over a dozen years with Cinco de Mayo, and very seldom do we have to go to a phase three, which is the diversion. Diversion is when traffic is so heavy, it's gridlocked. A lot of traffic is spilling into the neighborhoods. A lot of uh, a lot of backups beyond where our lane restrictions start. Then we end up closing all the side streets and pushing them off onto thoroughfares that can handle that type of traffic. That being Sixth Ave, and then over to the to the interstate, and then they can circle back around. But it really takes a lot of that pressure off the immediate uh, area here on Federal. So with that, I'd ask if you have any questions that we can that you might have. Increased traffic due to the traditional cruising that takes place, quote unquote, on federal. You guys have worked with the local communities to keep that tradition, I guess, alive. Yes, it's very important to have that tradition. I mean, as you can see, there's three different events going on just in the city alone. The one over on Morrison Road down at Civic Center Park and then here on federal. So, yes, it's very important for us to help uh, facilitate that, but provi provide a safe atmosphere for that. So, uh, yes, we encourage folks to come out and enjoy the day. Yes.
Yes, be, and, and also to be patient, yes. So be respectful of each other with safety in mind. Um, we really, with, the, with a lot of traffic out here, our biggest concern is for those folks that are on foot, right? We just want to make sure that uh, the reckless driving um, and the, uh, that kind of behavior is at a minimum. So we will strictly enforce that type of behavior. So we'd ask if you're coming out here to do that, we don't want that here. We want celebration to take place out here just and have a great time. Yes, that's right. The side streets will be open. The only thing that does change a little bit, like I said, when you're going north and southbound on federal, there's limitations to where you can turn left um, because of the emergency lane uh, traffic that's set up for emergency personnel. We do have that designated at those four intersections. Though. Friday, Saturday, Sunday nature. Is it any bigger when it's uh, single demise on a weekend? Or in the uh, weekend? No, it's, sir, I've been out here for quite some time and, it, and it's really the same. Uh, the, the folks uh, come out, uh, there's a lot of participation for Cinco de Mayo, so I would, I would say that whether it's on a weekend or during the middle of the week, um, we see a lot of folks celebrating that holiday. Okay, well, I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to everybody. Thank you.